Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on KevinTalksTech.com. I'm Kevin Hurd here at the Tech Desk. Since we do all of KevinTalksTech.com right here at this desk, we thought we'd make a segment out of it, like I said, and call it the Tech Desk. Well, today here on the Tech Desk, I want to talk about something that really stands out to me when people are talking about computers, and it's the word memory. Now, in the computer world, memory can have two different types of meanings, and oftentimes it's easy to get confused. If I asked you, how much memory does your computer have? You might tell me one gigabyte, two gigabytes, five gigabytes, 400 gigabytes. Well, technically all of those answers would be correct, and some people actually start getting into the terabyte territory. Just like in our own minds, a computer has short-term memory, and it also has long-term memory as well. The short-term memory is called random access memory, or RAM. This is used to help you run programs at the same time. If you've ever tried to open up a whole bunch of things at once and your computer slowed way down or crashed, your computer was running low on random access memory or those resources it needs to keep all of those programs running. Now typically a computer today will have maybe one to six gigabytes of RAM. You've probably seen this if you've been shopping for a computer in the store, though it's not uncommon these days to get even higher than six gigabytes of RAM. And then there's also that long-term memory or hard drive memory. Another good way to think about this is with the word storage. How much storage space does your computer have? It sounds like a little awkward phrase maybe, but it gets the point across if you think about things in terms of storage space. Now, this is also measured in gigabytes as well. I remember the early days when those very early computers would maybe have eight to 50 gigabytes of storage space, and now three to 500 is a little bit more common. And some people jump even up to the next level, which is terabytes like we were talking about before. This is the step after you get to 1,000 gigabytes, you start moving into terabytes. This type of memory, the storage memory, is used to hold your documents, pictures, videos, any type of file that you basically have on your computer. So again, another good way to think about this is short and long-term memory. The shorter-term memory is RAM, the resources used to run programs that you've got on your computer right now, and storage memory, those are the one, uh, the memory rather, that's used to hold files in your hard drive. And here's one other quick tip for you as well. If you leave your computer on for a long time, it's a good idea to restart it every now and then. You'll find that if it's running sluggish or if it has been on for a while, it is going to run a little bit better because restarting it does refresh out that random access memory. Now, we've put some more uh, about memory on our website as well, some helpful links and what size RAM and hard drive space you should look for if you're in the market for a new computer. You'll find all that information on our website at kevintalkstech.com. And of course, as we do more of these tech desk segments, we'll continue to have more about memory and talk more about this again here in the future. For kevintalkstech.com and Tech Desk, I'm Kevin Hurd. We'll see you again for our next segment next time. <laughs>